folks? Welcome to another edition of Billy the Kid's No Bullshit Toy Reviews. And today, courtesy of my sponsors, St. Mark's Comics. Check them out in the link below. We are taking a look at Transformers Studio Series 86 Liter Class Coronation Starscream. Boom. Beautiful box. Beautiful box art. Uh, totally dig it. This is a really nice update to the Voyager Class figure, but he is just that a Voyager class figure with a few upgrades. He comes with a beautiful background that's packed in with the box. He comes with this throne, which sets up for an excellent source of weapon storage. Here you have his cape. Unplug that. That unfolds. Behind the cape, you're gonna see his null rays, his crown, and inside are his null rays with his shoulder pads. So these null rays, these act as they would on any other figure. Okay, any other Starscream. Here is your tune Starscream with his null rays. And what they did was they made these other null rays that are built a little bit different to fit with the shoulder pads. So I'm gonna do the figure review before I throw on the coronation gear. Starscream is pretty much the exact same figure that you would get in the Voyager release. Uh, the only differences I've managed to see is uh, they made his fingers fing, but they're all on one shared hinge, so no individual uh, finger motions. But it's nice. They just gave it that little, I guess, leader class difference. And there is a hole in his back, but I don't remember if this was there or not on the Voyager class mold. I no longer have mine, so I cannot compare. Uh, articulation is the same. This head is on a ball joint, up, down, left, right, tilted, full range of motion. Definitely nothing to complain about there. Shoulders come up this far, rotate, full 360 degrees. They even have the wings tilt back and bend back so you can get that motion. You've got a bicep swivel pull these off actually you've got a single bend at the elbow no rotation at the wrists but due to transformation they come up like so so i'm sure you'll be able to get some poses out of that pull these up there's absolutely no waist rotation and he's hollow as shit on the sides no full van dam kicks up this far doesn't kick back because he's hindered by his skid plate You've got a bend at the knee, ankle tilts, feet come down, and not much in regards to up. Um, I have a few complaints about this guy in robot mode. Uh, first and foremost, the, you know, you have these openings here. Why not give us tabs so these wings don't keep coming undone? All right, that would have been nice. As well, the wings, due to transformation, they fold around here. The core class figure had a locking mechanism. Worked just fine. It was just a little nub that goes into a small hole. They could have done that here. All right? And then, I understand this is for transformation, but I feel like they could have found a way to give us a little bit of wrist rotation. Other than that, it's a very nice figure. It's a nice looking star scream. It's posable and it does the job and it scales very well with the other figures. Here he is with Voyager class Megatron and I think they scale just fine together. Now, as for Coronation Star Scream, plop this up, pull out your cape, peg it in the back. All right, good. Caped up, okay. Crown comes out, pops on his head. You're good. Let's pull these bad boys out. Like I said, excellent weapon storage here, guys. That throne alone is worth the weapon storage. Shoulders have a really nice little system. So, these here, these blasters, 
they um, they cut off this little nub that's on top here and made it so you could have this move. Um, as well, there's a little peg here. So you peg this right into the blaster peg on his shoulder and boom, and repeat. And there you have it. He's all coronationed out and um, he looks really nice. Um, I think he looks pretty good. You know, if you like, set him up to get blasted. You know, definitely nice. Scales well with Galvatron. I think he's rad. I think that uh, from the front to the back, aside from this, they did a really nice job with this coronation set. Is it worth the leader price? I don't think so. But uh, it's a good figure, it looks good, and it feels good. There's no difference in his jet mode, but I will transform it just so you guys can have that little peace of mind. Take the crown off. And just tab it right in. Like I said, these plop right out, pop right out, and on pegs like so. So these guys, you're just gonna fold up and you're gonna have it so that they face this way and they slide right in the chair. I just use my finger to kind of push it in the hole. Boom, boom. Fold this bad boy up, seal it up. And uh, you've got some really nice storage. He does sit on his throne so that's nice you're not going to be disappointed for the he does come with a great amount of accessories that looks pretty nice transformation is i believe identical to uh last time we're just gonna undo this snap that up rotate this and bring that up. The most difficult part of this figure's transformation are his arms. So let me see if I can remember how to do this. You just want to close it up like so and bring that up. That's going to allow you to slide this in. Again, open that up. You're going to bring that up. It's just kind of closing in on itself. All right, there's your upper torso. Open these, and they're just gonna slide right in. Peg together, clip his cod piece up, close that up, boom. Feet fold. These come up. They do lock in on this part. Like I said, I wish they did it in robot mode. Do the wings. There you have Starscream in his jet mode. All right. Um, if you want, you can pull out his blasters, attach them to his wings to look more accurate. There's no landing gear. He just sits on this centerpiece and these nubs here, like so. So what you get is ultimately a Voyager figure with a lot of accessories and it's nice it looks the part if you missed out on the voyager definitely grab this guy if you have the voyager i mean do you really need a coronation set uh, how long was he um in that gear i mean under a minute i think it was before galvatron blasted him so it's up to you this one it's it's your decision here because it's really just the voyager figure with a few additives um up to you I like it. I dig it. Um, I'm going to hold on to this one as I did not hold on to the Voyager class figure. 
I got mine from St. Mark's Comics. Check them out down in the link below. To my Patreons, thank you for your continued support and belief in my channel. As always, if you like what you see, please give me a like and subscribe. This is Billy the Kid signing off.